Chiquinha Gonzaga, born Francisca Gonzaga, was famously known Brazilian composer, pianist, and the first woman conductor in Brazil. Chiquinha Gonzaga grew up surrounded by controversy. Born in Rio de Janeiro from a mestizo mother and a wealthy white father, she was entitled an illegitimate child, all under a strict military home lifestyle. But due to this military lifestyle, Gonzaga had an excellent education unlike many girls in her time that would prepare her for a successful future. She learned to read and write, do math, and primarily play the piano. She went on to compose her first musical composition at age 11. Gonzaga continued to play music even after entering into an arranged marriage to naval officer Jacinto Roberto do Amaral, a 24-year-old man when she was only 16 years old. Jacinto Roberto do Amaral was chosen by her father to marry Chiquinha, even though she had expressed her disagreement with this arrangement. This was rare because few women dared to defy their parents and husbands. When that happened, they were normally sent off to reformatories and convents. Her marriage ended shortly after her husband, Jacinto Roberto de Almoral, attempted to make her choose between him and her music. The two separated, resulting in a nasty divorce suit that dragged on for many years. Because in the 19th century patriarchal Brazil, it was unacceptable for women to leave their husbands, Gonzaga was then disowned by her family and shunned from her community. Although the two had three children together, Gonzaga was only allowed to take their oldest son, João Gilberto, with her. After separating from her husband, Chiquinha lived as an independent musician, playing piano in music instrument stores. She gave piano lessons to support her son, regardless of the societal criticism that came along with raising a child without a husband. During this time, Chiquinha moved to Minas Gerais with engineer João Batista de Cavalajo with whom she had a daughter, Maria Alice. They eventually split, resulting in Chiquinha to lose another child. Nonetheless, she persisted. Chiquinha was entirely devoted to her music. As her career grew and she became very famous as a composer of polka, waltzes, tangos, and other songs, Chiquinha began to participate in balls and torres reunions, normally reserved for men, where she met the flowest Jaquim Antonio de Salvia Callado, and started to play in his group, Ochoro de Calado, being the first woman to ever play in his group. The need to adjust the piano sound to popular taste are the reasons for Chiquinho Gonzaga's glory to become the first popular composer of Brazil. During this time, she composed her first success, the polka Atranche, in 1877. A tranche changed the musical landscape of Brazil by introducing a style of music that combined different musical elements like polka, waltz, ragtime, and Afro-Brazilian rhythms. This style eventually became known as choro. In the midst of her building success, she decided to start vaudeville and revue. She composed the costume operetta A Corte na Rocha in 1885. In 1911, her greatest success in the theater was the operetta Foro Bodo that ran 105,000 straight shows after the premiere, until today, the best known show of its kind in Brazil. Through her fame and financial success, Chiquinha advocated for women's rights using her power to push back against her patriarchal society. Chiquinha was also able to found the Brazilian Society of Theater Authors, which was the first society to protect copyrighted artistic works in Brazil in 1917. At the end of her life, she composed music for 77 theater plays and was the author of about 2,000 compositions in different genres. She broke down barriers and directly impacted the development of her music in her homeland. Chiquinha Gonzaga lived her life on her own terms. Her career in music paved the way to define the progression of Brazilian music. Her life opened doors for female empowerment and the professionalization of women's music. 
Gonzaga's legacy lives on as one of Brazil's most celebrated musical legends.